However, the Auditor General had uh, capacity constraints. They needed 200 million shillings to undertake the exercise, and uh, no one was willing to provide that kind of money. But we must find a way of looking at these things. Otherwise, we'll be asking the DCI to come and look at it and maybe have some dramatic arrests and have some people arraigned uh, before the courts of law so that the public can, uh, we can restore the confidence of the public. Members, I think with that, we can now go to the specific issues. Just to final comment. On that, Chair, with your permission. I think uh, it's, it's, the, the county governments are just evolving into are now uh, developing systems. And part of the problem that uh, we are seeing is, is the fact that because maybe being the first uh, crop, uh, creating systems has been a major challenge. And uh, it's now that we are trying now to put systems in place. And these systems then will be able to assist in such a way that you actually only commit for uh, services and products that uh, you have money for, which actually is a requirement by PFM. So I, I think as we, as we um, straighten our systems and strengthen them, and I, I really appreciate there's a lot of training that is happening in county governments uh, and to, to enable uh, capacity building within the counties so that uh, uh, issues of procurement uh, and issues of, uh, you know, minimizing pending bills by adhering to the PFM Act, I think, will be able to uh, minimize all this. But I agree, this needs to be looked at so that uh, we do not incur unnecessary costs. Uh, uh, thank you, Governor. We will uh, focus on the future solutions, but we will not shut our eyes to the past uh, indiscretions. Uh, Auditor General, let's now go through and find out why you issued a qualified opinion on Isiolo County, starting from one on cash and cash equivalents. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Chairman. We are on page two of the report of the Auditor General, where we have paragraph one, cash and cash equivalent, and I read, during the year under review, the county executive operated five bank accounts, for the county assembly had one bank Sorry, account. Sorry, can we hear her? Uh, is she audible? Uh, Rob, just assist so that uh, that microphone can be closer to her. Uh, because uh, I believe that uh, you, uh, part of these proceedings could be live for people of Isiolo to follow, so we want you to be audible. Um, thank you, Chair. I'm normally very loud, and uh, I think it was the mic. So, so I start again, paragraph one, cash and cash equivalents. Uh, during the year...